So after I got this together, um, I kind of realized that this isn't isn't going to work. And um, part of the reason for that is because there's there's enough lash here that every time this little piston fires, it's going to try to accelerate this pretty decent sized mass. And what that's going to do is have the, uh, the effect of being like an impact wrench on this on this uh, nut um, and so I, I managed to run this for about oh probably 30 seconds um, and this just kept basically driving this in tighter and tighter to the point where it was starting to bind uh, with this pull so I think it's over tightened at this point and uh, trying to loosen this uh, I even managed to uh, break a couple of fins there so there's a couple of fins broken off now and so I, I can't turn this. So I need to disassemble all of this um, and probably cut this off and put an impact wrench uh, in order to extract this. Uh, so hopefully I haven't completely destroyed it, but um, uh, this uh, I think I'm going to have to go back to my original thought of, of using a belt. Um, I originally was going to use a DC motor so that I could both start this and uh, use a, a generator, but... Um, I, so that's basically why I cut off this uh, centrifugal clutch. If I was going to use this type of generator, I think I would keep the centrifugal clutch on uh, to, uh, to give it a, a little bit of um, isolation from the engine. Um, and the centrifugal, centrifugal clutch also has an outboard bearing on it, um, which, which could then also help to reduce any side loading on, on the bearing in this engine. Um, Overall, this I wanted to make this as kind of compact as possible, but this this really isn't going to work. Um, so I'll probably uh, see if I could solve this, this engine and start over, and and probably do a belt drive to a uh, a DC motor.